So this is a project for Golden One Credit Union. Um, you can see it's a pretty stacked project. It looks like there's eight video tracks. Um, generally, the way, uh, the way that I edit is that you ingest the footage in, uh, make sure you have a good file structure here. For this one, there were actually four days of shoots. So um, I have all of these A cam, B cam. Uh, for this one, I separated them out. There was a series of videos. Uh, there was actually a series of six videos. Started out seven, but um, they merged one of the videos, so there's six videos. So there's an employee appreciation. We have what's called hero shots, which is basically um, like these shots here. If it'll play there. Uh -oh. So that's called a hero shot. Um, it's basically like you know somebody smiling or giving some sort of gesture. See so yeah, how the guy up here, he's giving a gesture there. Um, and then this over here, this was for another video. And then this is the service week video. So um, this is a pretty extensive shoot. Like I said, four days. Um, one of the things that's really important to me is organizing footage <laughs> and organizing, having a good file structure in both the actual, um, on the hard drives, but also inside of Premiere itself. So uh, that's how I have it here. Um, there's no audio in this. We didn't shoot external audio. Uh, we used lapel mics, as you can see here, but it was all in camera. Uh, I also imported some other videos that we had done for Golden One before and used some of that as, um, as some footage here. This is a different one of the other videos, but that's some of the... This here is, a, is from a, a different video that was delivered a few weeks ago, actually. Um, so there's that. Uh, Let's see, going back to here, um, I've got another bucket or a bin that I use called graphics. This is a lot of standard stuff that we use at KJ, but also um, there's a, things like this Golden One logo, which is important. Um, and then also things just like white mats and stuff like that. Uh, lots of stuff that you know I use to, to create um, different things. Also put some sort of end cards and stuff. Sometimes. I'll just create graphics directly in Premiere. And so here, um, if I toggle these tracks, this is just the background from a, um, from a Photoshop file that they sent us. And then I composited in the different other elements that they had and created a card here. I'm gonna go to After Effects, which is right here. So um, some of the stuff I would create in After Effects too. Um, this is the opening slide here. What I did was I basically took this logo that they sent us and I split it. Um, there are two instances here. If I toggle the mat open, you can see there's a mask on that. So I essentially like removed the two separate parts of this so that I can animate it in, in some way that's you know, more interesting and the creative than just uh, slapping it up on screen. Um, and then one of the other things I did uh, is I created a custom transition to for this. I basically traced the one in their logo and, um, and I created a transition that allowed me to throw it over the top of the video and uh, have it transition between two takes, um, not two, two takes, two clips. Uh, and then if you want to see the, the nuts and bolts of how I did it, it's right here. It's basically three shape layers that I made there. So there's a white one, a black one, and then a yellow one. Hey, Eric, real quick, can you just explain to people what After Effects is? Because I think there might be some yes. people in the audience that have no idea what After Effects is. So just of course. So After Effects is a, um, essentially what's called a compositing, uh, it's called compositing software. Uh, compositing is where you take, one, you take more than one element and you layer it on top of uh, something else and um, you create sort of a new composition. That's what these things are called. It says comp one up here. That's composition. Um, this is actually a, a random countdown timer <laughs> that I was creating. Um, but all these things are called compositions. And that's, and that's because the main goal of After Effects is to 
is to take a bunch of different things and put them all on in one place uh, so that you can move them around and create um, and, and create a motion graphics uh, uh, product. It's Photoshop for video, right? <laughs> yes, Photoshop for video, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And they're one of the main things is uh, called keyframes. Um, and that's what these are down here. These are called keyframes. And it's essentially telling, uh, it's essentially giving, um, it's how you move stuff around. <laughs> mm -hmm. You tell it, you start here and you go to here. Uh, so start at this position and scale, and then you go to this position and scale, and that's what creates that effect. It sort of interpolates what needs to happen in between. So, um, yeah, that's the main that's the main tool of uh, of After Effects is called keyframes. From a, from an editor's perspective, can you kind of walk us through? Um, like, do you have the storyboards from the show? You know, from the plan. Do you? What are, what assets are you using to help create your final edit uh, for a PSA? There's usually some sort of direction from the client. Um, we're trying to implement a um, a unified creative brief, uh, and that is basically like tells you uh, about the client. It tells you what the project is, how long it is. Um, if there's a script, other things that they need. Um, sometimes, if that's not available, we'll go off of some sort of questionnaire. Kevin has a questionnaire that he gives out to clients. Uh, so we'll go off of that. Um, other times we just have a meeting and you write stuff down and sometimes it's run and gun. So you don't have time to have that all filled out and, you know, have it all neat, all neat and pretty. So you just gotta have a meeting, uh, get it all dispelled to you orally, write it down and then go from there. <laughs> <laughs>